Hi everyone, this is Rennie and here is my sleepler collection. As you can see, I've accumulated quite a few sleeplers through the years as a classroom teacher. Every time I saw a sleepler with a slight change in form or design, I felt like I needed to give it a go. I'm hoping that the Quirky community can help in rethinking and redesigning a new species of staplers, one that stands out from all the rest. You can see most of these staplers look very similar in style and design. I'm thinking Quirky can really spice it up with a new kind of cool looking stapler. Here's a collection of stapler removers that I've also collected. One of the beefs I have with all of these staplers is that you never know exactly where the staple will land on the paper. So one of the suggestions I have is to put a corner guide that allows you to feed your paper into the stapler. So you get a perfectly placed staple every time. Here's one, a stapler with a stapler remover in the back. I thought that was kind of cool. This is the one-touch stapler. Another one-touch stapler. I like this uh, stapler design. This is a perfect example of not knowing where the staple will land. Another instance where it's hard to tell where the staple is going to go on a piece of paper. I call this my alligator stapler. I first saw this being used at a Chinese takeout restaurant. Often gets jammed, but still like the design. This one you can remove the base and use it for bulletin boards. This is, um, especially designed for teachers, I think. Here you can see an example of how the stapler can get jammed in the corner when it's not designed correctly, right there. Stapler, staples sticking out. And now I want to show you how you put the staples into the stapler. Like each one, this one has a spring and a lot of times the spring can get broken. I like when they design it like this so there's no spring uh, to break off. Although my kids manage to still break it. This stapler you can't use with a sta uh, against a bulletin board. It only opens halfway. So that, that was a surprise. There's one where the spring broke off, so I can't use it anymore. And this is my personal favorite. No spring. Just slide it in, put the staples in, and let it click. Okay, hope you enjoyed this presentation and inspires you to think how we might possibly create a new kind of stapler.